Good morning, my name is Clayton Hall and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Studio Code and first like how to uh, open a new timeline, a uh, code window and how to uh, code video. So first off to open a tube line, go over to the top you hit file, you hit new and you go down here to timeline. If you click on that it'll bring up your new timeline. Um, also once you finish that you go back up to the top here, you go to the file, you hit new again. If you want to get the code window, hit the new, hit code window, and then your code window will pop up just like this one right here. Okay, that's as easy as that, uh, bringing those two up. Now, if you're going to want to create buttons to code with, uh, as these, like you see, instruction, demonstration, uh, first off, you come up here, you're going to hit the edit pencil right here okay and you see this right here it says buttons you're just gonna drag a button right down in here to this uh, code box and you can double click on this and you can create a new one that's like I want to put on here let's say um, let's say healthy and active lifestyle management I'm just gonna put helm helm okay and I can come down here and I can make this let's see here, let me scroll this up a little bit I can edit this um, I can make it different colors so this is a uh, color of its own so I can differentiate that from others so if I go over here to like background color I can go over here let's say I want it to be more of a greenish yellow I click on that right there and, and voila it's greenish yellow so I can always make that that bigger for so if I go down here to width I can click on here and say I want the width to be uh, 150. It will update that. And if I want to go over here for height on this, I can go, let's say if I want to go to like 50 on height, things like that. So you can uh, you can uh, create what you want uh, for size. You can differentiate for others. You can uh, drag it. Let's say I want to um, have like a sub um, category um, for this for this healthy and active lifestyle management. Let's say I want to do like a object lesson or if I want to do a one minute um, presentation, um, I can go over here to this right here, code, this little zero one, and I can create, you know, actually I have to drag down a button first, sorry. Drag down this button right here, double click on this. Uh, let's say I want to do an object lesson for healthy and active lifestyle management. So come over here and I change this to object lesson. So, um, lesson okay um, instead of having this up here the code button the button type instead of being in the code I'm gonna make this a label and it's gonna attach to um, healthy and active life, lifestyle management so I click on label okay and I'm gonna go down here exclusive link and click on this and you can see right here it says healthy and active lifestyle management click on that and automatically these are two are attached so these are both attached right here. Um, if I want to make this bigger, so I just click, double click on that again, I go back to edit, sorry, edit, and then I go right here to the background color, let's say I want to make this a uh, little bit orange, that's good if I want to make this a little bit bigger I can, let's make 110, okay, 110 like that, a little wider, make just like that to 30, okay, so there's that right there, and I can, you know, drag that right there, I'll just click right out of here, Okay. I can also move these things over at any time. I can drag these. These are other ones I've made before. Um, let's say I want to make one more. I'm going to make a uh, uh, one minute um, health and active lifestyle management. So I'm just going to go over here one more time. Drag down this button right here. Okay. And let's go click that right there. It's going to be a label just like last time. And one minute presentation. Uh, one minute uh, tip. Well, one minute tip. One minute tip. Okay. Go down here. Once we did like last time, I'm going to collect healthy life to active lifestyle management, and it's going to connect right here to that. So now you're already connected. All right. If I want to make that a little bit bigger, I can just double click on that again. Go over here to the edit button, and I can go up to you know however big I want it let's go to 30 right there and voila looks amazing okay so once you finish uh, doing these you make it in your code mode box once you have all your codes set in here and your your uh, 
activity buttons and and all that kind of stuff you can code your video okay so you come over here to your timeline you click on your timeline actually first off you need to go to code mode so you click on code mode right here and at this point the video begins so um, let's go back over here so as you want to code your video let's go to the very start here um, let's say this is the introduction of the lesson so uh, she's doing some instruction here as well so as I click this button right here you can hear her doing doing some instruction right um, as you hear her doing instruction I just go over here to um, demonstration or I go to cues and or just hit on instruction um, once hit on instruction let's go to the very start here I'll hit on instruction I'll start the video once I hit on instruction okay hit once you'll still see these little uh, these squiggly lines and that that means it's that's in code mode it's, it's coding so hit uh, go and let it go for a few minutes and you can see that once I'm done with a certain subject let's say that she's done doing her instruction I click right here bam okay alright I can stop the video I just click on this and it goes away and then you, this little box down here shows that instruction has been done let's say the next portion of this um, she is doing a direct teaching style so here's a teaching style over here and, and she's doing direct teaching um, so what I want to do is code that portion of it so I'm going to scroll back here I think right now she's doing direct teaching style let me go back here just like this she's uh, doing some direct teaching style and I'm going to click on direct teaching style Let's go back here. Here. So if my direct teaching style for some reason is not working, so I'm going to go on to a different deal here and see if this will work. Um, let's say she's doing instruction. She's doing a demonstration. Um, I'm going to click demonstration right here or instruction, and it should pop up just like that. And as I push play it's going to start recording instruction okay um, and you'll see instruction up here in this uh, right hand corner what you just have done once I'm done with that segment of it I just click on instruction just like that alright and you'll see right here on this that instruction has been uh, coded and you can play that back you can double click on that and uh, it'll show the video and if you double click if you don't want that you can delete it um, it's pretty pretty simple um, once you're done with this um, and you're done with the code mode you can just hit off a of code mode you're done recording so you hit off that you're done coding your video and you can come over here to the matrix it shows you what you have coded on in the lesson it helps you uh, track what you've coded so you just double click on that and it shows right here how many times you uh, coded a teaching style or instruction or introduction um, and so it's very uh, easy so you can print that off and uh, show that to an instructor. Okay, helps you uh, track what you have coded. So I can click out of that, click out of that. Okay, that's kind of the nuts and bolts of uh, Studio Code. Um, it's a great program if you're uh, in teaching and you want to see how well you're teaching in certain uh, teaching um, expectations and capacities and strategies. Okay, thank you so much and talk to you and see you later.